The recent strain of influenza has doctors busy at Iowa State's Thielen Student Health Center. It is a good location for a virus. Yeah, they really like it in locations where people are close together and they're in easy contact with one another. Doctors are seeing mostly H3N2 influenza strains and some H1N1. The strains this year uh, to uh, the best of our knowledge, aren't any more virulent necessarily than in previous years. Influenza, known as the flu, can affect anyone, but some are more susceptible. People that are affected more are those that have chronic underlying medical problems such as COPD, um, and the very old and the very young. Doctors recommend those groups especially get the flu vaccine, but they encourage everyone to get vaccinated. The CDC says this season's flu vaccine has been 60% effective in protecting those vaccinated from the flu. Older individuals or those that have less well-functioning immune systems, very old, very young, are likely to have a lesser effectiveness rate. So relatively healthy people are more likely to have a, even a higher effectiveness rate than that. So why do you tell those students? Those students would look at this and say, there's still a 40% chance I could get it or possibly even more, why get it? Why get the flu shot there? Well, um, it's always good to be protected even if you have a 60% effectiveness rate. That's still uh, good odds of being protected against the flu. Um, we know that the higher numbers of people that are protected, the less likely it is to circulate. So the more people that have vaccine, the less likely the virus is to have a larger spread among the population. So there are population reasons as well as individual reasons why it's always a good idea to get the vaccine. If you do get influenza, doctors want you to reduce the risk of spreading it. The best thing to do when you have an acute illness generally is to stay home and get well. Um, keeping the spread from going to others and keeping the spread from um, advancing in the population. Even if that means having to miss class or meetings. Some of the symptoms of influenza include uh, shaking chills, body aches, fever, and by fever usually we're talking about temperatures of 101 degrees Fahrenheit and above, um, cough, sore throat, um, Headache. If you find that you are experiencing these symptoms, doctors say try to avoid the doctor's office and the ER. Instead, you want to try to eat well because eating well helps you maintain your ability to fight off infections. The, the main tool in fighting off infections for any one person is going to be your good intact functioning immune system. So we really encourage people to um, be extra scrupulous with your hygiene and cough into your sleeve and into tissues and wash your hands frequently and try to keep all the surfaces that you're in contact with clean and bathrooms and other places. There isn't any one thing that's sort of the magic bullet that will take care of it. And if you don't have the flu, one of the best things to do is to make sure that you're washing your hands very frequently. Hand washing is one of the number one things that you can do to try to prevent getting the flu in the first place. And avoiding touching your face where many germs can be spread. On average, people touch their faces anywhere between 100 and 200 times in a day. They also recommend to get your flu vaccination if you haven't already. It's not too late for students to stop by the Thielen Student Health Center during normal hours. But doctors warn of some common myths associated with the flu. People think that they get the flu from the flu vaccine. Not true. We occasionally um, uh, encounter from people in the public the perception of uh, vomiting and diarrhea, what we call gastroenteritis, as the stomach flu, but that's actually not the influenza virus. It's a different virus that causes that. Dr. Scott Meyer recommends avoiding the use of Tamiflu, which is meant to help those with chronic underlying medical conditions. Meyer says expect the flu to last about three to five days. The flu is uh, something that makes feel, people feel awful when they have it, but generally most healthy people are going to get through that awful feeling in a matter of a few days and they're going to be able to recover and return to their usual state of health. The basic message really is if you're um, otherwise healthy and don't have significant underlying chronic medical problems, your best option is to stay home and get well. You're staying home and taking care of yourself, taking uh, things like acetaminophen, which is Tylenol for aches and fevers, um, drinking lots of fluids, um, and basically trying to keep yourself as comfortable as you can while your immune system is doing its job.